Sometime recently, Pet Simulator X secretly updated the diamond mine again. So I'm gonna be showing you what exactly changed, because since the start of the summer event, they've been making a few changes, and I already did a video on it last time they secretly updated it, but it has happened again. So anyways, time for me to give away this huge doodle cat. So if you want a huge, just like the video, subscribe and comment your Roblox username, because I choose one random winner in the comments of every single video. So here is last video's winner. I'm sending them the huge doodle cat. So basically, here is what happened. The diamond mine when it was first added to pet simulator x was way too actually bad it wasn't early overpowered at all when it was first added but later that day they updated it to be insanely op now they made it where literally new players like you could literally get the basic pets from one of these eggs put the basic pets on the things in the diamond mine and get 400 billion a day and i'm pretty sure you could get up to like 10 or 20 trillion a day based on if you use actual strong pets with the diamonds v and we're really, really overpowered. One of my friends got a few hundred rocks by, okay, his strategy was on two different devices. He just put all his diamonds V pets on stuff. And then on a third device, mailed everything from the first two devices, an insane amount of diamonds. Like he was sending all the diamonds he was getting from the diamond mine to that third account, which he just go around trading plazas and buy rocks. And he got so many diamonds so fast that he could just keep endlessly buying rocks. And by the time he ran out of diamonds, he could just send them to his account again. So like it was insanely overpowered. It took them a whole 24 hours to nerf it, but all those diamonds that got in circulation are part of the reason why the huge rock now is going for like over 80 billion. Originally, right after this inflation, it was around 80 billion. Before it was only like rising from 15 slowly. Like, okay, when I started playing Pet Simulator X, the huge rock was going for like 14 billion, and then it was really, really consistent. Then it started getting 15 after week. The diamond mine basically ruined the entire economy of Pet Simulator X, and they only added some things to fix it after hackers started getting a whole bunch of diamonds, which is why Titanics are all like 14 trillion right now. Before the diamond mine, some Titanics were going for as low as 3 trillion something, and the highest ones were like 5-ish trillion, but then, after the diamond mine, well, everything shot up a little bit, stuff was going for like 7, 8 trillion, but I remember after the diamond mine, in the beginning, you could still get some titanics for like five or six trillion but after hackers started finding ways to get like hundreds of trillions of diamonds from the diamond mine and started buying tons of titanics well that's when they actually decided that something needs to be done so like a week after hackers got tons of diamonds and basically raised titanic prices from like six or seven trillion to over ten they finally added a limit of like a hundred billion diamonds a day and that limit was literally like in the summer event part Part two, I think. It might have been a couple updates before that, but I just know recently they changed the diamond mine limit from a hundred billion to sixty billion. Well, I'm not entirely sure if it's sixty billion, but I'm, I'm like mostly sure. I know it was a hundred billion before in the beginning, but then they said they lowered it. They didn't say the exact amount. I don't know why they're like somewhat making it a mystery. Like it doesn't say the limit in the diamond mine, and we don't know the exact amount. I'm pretty sure again it's sixty billion though. So that was one of the main changes in this secret update with the diamond mine. Now, there is a second change, but I can't really show it on my main account because I own this VIP server. It actually only applies to VIP servers that you do not own. Alright, I brought in my alt account on the very laggy Microsoft store version of Roblox, so if we try going over to the diamond mine, pretty much, like, everything looks normal. So, I just bought these areas. They changed this to having a certain rank, and then I think you can spend diamonds instead of sacrificing a huge. I guess since huges are worth like so much now it's not really worth it by the way i think they're trying to get rid of how many huges exist like at least the most common ones because they made it in the diamond mine where you have to get rid of a huge and then they made it where you can evolve huges that are common so both of those significantly reduce the amount of huges that are in circulation so they're just getting really really expensive but anyways if we try mining something so we've got my safari cat for some reason on this account all i have is a safari cat but when we try mining something it says sorry you cannot access this area on a private server unless you were the owner or have roblox premium slash vip so you either have to have roblox premium which by the way when premium players play your roblox game you get robux based on how long they play that basically gives them robux and vip is a game pass and then owning a vip server is also quite a bit of robux so basically you can't use vip servers that aren't yours unless you give them robux and this was 
not a thing before. Like, I literally had people in my server. I've never seen this message before, and I just got DM'd about this message a few times yesterday, so it's possible that this is somewhat older. But it seems like in this new secret diamond mine update, they lowered the diamond limit to 60 billion and also added this message where you can't, like, use other VIP servers unless you give them Robux. So the only option, really, unless you spend Robux, is to go to a public server, which most likely will have other people grinding it. Now, you can sort Roblox servers by the lowest and probably find some pretty decent servers, but still, that's just kind of weird. Like, it's not that hard to find an empty-ish Roblox server, so why did they make it where you can't use VIP servers? They added a diamond cap, so it's not like hackers are going to be able to do much anyways. I don't really get it. It's kind of funny, though, because the whole point of Diamond Mine is to be free to play, and then they're adding something that makes it, like, pay to win, because a lot of people were complaining about, like, not being able to get diamonds and stuff, but now here we are. Back to my main account. I don't know why the Microsoft Store version of Roblox is so laggy. So this just makes the diamond mine less overpowered, because, okay, before, you were able to get about 400 billion diamonds a day if you use the best possible diamonds V-Pets, which, I mean, you don't really need that strong pets to break stuff here. It's pretty easy, because they keep adding stronger pets every single update, so as long as you have, like, huge pets or even exclusive pets, you can probably break these really fast. So now you can't really grind the entire day. You're gonna eventually reach the 60 billion diamond limit, which isn't even close enough to get a huge rock. So now every day you can get 80 or 90% of a huge from grinding the diamond mine the whole day, but it's just not really worth it. And in my opinion, the diamond mine wasn't a really a good idea because even though it seems like a good idea in theory, you already know hackers are gonna mess it up and then they have to add a diamond limit and then it just kind of makes it where it's not really useful for normal players to grind anymore, so... Hey, at least we have some leaks of the next update. Okay, let me go over to Twitter. What I use for leaks is still down, so we are back to RBXG leaks again, and as you can see in this picture, this is the new area, and okay, I want to point out one thing in this picture, so it looks like a rocket like, stunt testing area. The weird thing is that the sign says back to spawn, because let me show you guys something real quick. So if you go to anywhere in, let's say, Limbo, Limbo, for example, so if we go to Doodle World, the cannon says back to Limbo, not back to spawn. So it's the same with the void. If you go to like Pixel World, it's gonna say back to the void. So all these areas teleport back to the main area that has them. So this new area is at the spawn and it teleports back to spawn. That means the secret area is gonna be somewhere at the spawn. Well, not really a secret area, but like the new area is gonna be somewhere here. So it could either be something like the tech world entrance because like the tech world entrance is on the side right here so maybe this next final area is gonna be like on the side of the desert the side of the volcano i guess there is no new area like limbo in the void the new area is literally just gonna be like a new area off of spawn which is pretty nice to see because i thought they were just gonna do like a normal copy and paste how they have a teleport area and then they add a world with four areas which surprisingly doodle doesn't have four, but then they copy it, change how it looks, change the pets, copy it again, change how it looks, change the pets. Like, all of them seem like just four world areas inside of an area with a bunch of teleports with three worlds each. So I'm glad they're doing something unique this time instead of just following the pattern that they've been doing for a pretty long time. The last thing I want to show is that Big Game said we launched him into the Catrosphere, and then they showed the Fireball Cat, so that's pretty cool. And they also said today's the last day to use the claw machine, so that confirms that they're actually removing it this time. I also realized Preston is inside of the claw machine here. But that's pretty much it for the video. I'm gonna stream the update tomorrow and try to do some update videos. On the other hand, my game Toilet Tower Defense right here, you should play it like right now. It's gonna be linked in the description. It's probably gonna update either tomorrow or Sunday. I don't really know. We'll see what happens. It's been pretty crazy. Like, I think at the highest yesterday when we updated, we had 3,600 players. So I'm really still considering doing some normal videos on it. I think it'd be fun. We have a lot of cool things planned and are going to keep trying to grow the game as much as possible. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.